been working on AI safety for two decades at least. Yeah. I was convinced we can make safe AI, but the more I looked at it, the more I realized it's not something we can actually do. You have made a series of predictions about a variety of different dates. So what is your prediction for 2027? In two years, the capability to replace most humans and most occupations will come very quickly. I mean, in five years, we're looking at a world where we have levels of unemployment we've never seen before. Not talking about 10%, but 99%. And that's without superintelligence. A system smarter than all humans in all domains. So it would be better than us at making new AI. But it's worse than that. We don't know how to make them safe. And yet we still have the smartest people in the world competing to win the race to super intelligence. But what do you make of people like Sam Altman's journey with AI? So a decade ago, we published guardrails for how to do AI right. They violated every single one. And he's gambling 8 billion lives on getting richer and more powerful. So I guess if some people want to go to Mars, others want to control the universe. But it doesn't matter who builds it. The moment you switch to superintelligence, we will most likely regret it terribly. And then by 2045... Now this is where it gets interesting. Dr. Roman Gimpolsky. Let's talk about simulation theory. I think we are in one. And there is a lot of agreement on this. And this is what you should be doing in it, so we don't shut it down. First, 